product of the Hart family dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. She's got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. Women's division, I hope you're ready for a fight. Tamina is a scary woman. That is a scary human being. It's the Queen of Spades! She is the real deal. One of the original four horse women of mixed martial arts, a protege of Ronda Rousey. Shayna Baszler thrives on the fear of others. Yeah, it would be a tough point to argue that Shayna Baszler may be the toughest woman to ever step foot in NXT. Nah, she's as tough as they come. Classic match with Ember Moon at NXT TakeOver New Orleans, where she won the NXT Women's Championship. The sky's the limit. Byron, how big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. Don't move, don't speak, don't even blink. Here we go, folks, as we Jeez. kick off this tag team match. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. Harsh impact. Oh, nasty impact.
Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. Bulldog! Delivered with force. You gotta believe this one's over. If you ask a member of the WWE Universe about the four horsewomen, they'll likely refer to the quartet of Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. However, there's another group that lays claim to that moniker, and it includes Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Yeah, both groups actually met face-to-face -face at the Mae Young Classic. Ronda Rousey, Jessamyn Duke, and Marina Shafir were there to root on Shayna Baszler, and they met with WWE's group. Rousey told them, quote, you name the time, you name the place. The two of you brought up the collision between WWE's and MMA's four horsewomen, courtesy of Shayna Baszler. In the time since that showdown, Ronda Rousey has joined WWE, while the other two MMA horsewomen have begun NXT training. Guys, that showdown looms ever closer. I, for one, cannot wait. Not only because we'll see some of the best MMA and WWE competitors meet in the ring, but I'd love to see Baszler put Sasha Banks in the Kirifuda clutch and make the boss quit. Just tossed. She get airline miles for that. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Boom! Running STO plants them. Nicely done. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. When she gets in attack mode, look out. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Lariat! Tamina is being outworked here tonight. Where do you think she should go from here? She needs to find a way to get back on the offensive here. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There's no way she can continue like this and expect to win the match. There's just no way. Wow. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. 
She's so close to make. Look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. She goes down hard. She's going to be feeling that one for a while. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the attitude. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign in 2000. And Natalya, the quick cover. And she kicks out with relative ease. She's still in this one. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She got her with a reversal. Shayna Baszler making her move. Reverses that one. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The champ looking a little uneasy here. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Great power. Thank oh, you. man. That looks like it hurts. This could be it, guys. Natalya's chances just went from bad to worse. Shoulders on the mat. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Look at this. Nia Jax is letting everyone know exactly how she feels. What a stop. Good grief. The two of you were discussing Nia Jax being irresistible, and I have to agree. You know, I recently invited Nia to my mother's house and offered to make her some apple pie. And technically, she didn't say no. That's not what they mean by irresistible, Saxton. As the irresistible force of WWE, that means she plows through competition. Actions speak louder than words, gentlemen. Headbutt! Nothing fancy there. Natalia looks like she's down and out. It looks to me like the champ has her number here tonight. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Setting him up for the tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural tag team champions. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. The team of Reno and Heath Slater was a team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. Natalya is just seconds away from a victory here. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh what a leg drop. Oh. 
Makes my stomach hurt. I do not like Natalya's chances here, guys. Now, can Nia Jax make the most of this? I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Oh, nasty impact. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, man, Nia Jax goes down hard. In comes Tamina. Tamina is looking at the super kick. The champ's in a real bad place right now. Running hip attack, what impact. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's gonna be feeling that one for a while. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Oh, what a splash. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Tamina Snooker Man just put this one to bed. She goes for the cover. One, two, Digging deep for a kick out. She's still in this one. And no luck against Nia Jax there. Oh, and she gets out of the way. You gotta believe this one's over. Ooh, right to the midsection. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Tamina getting ripped up pretty good here. Her tag team partner has to be concerned at this point. This could be the end of the road for her here, guys, but then again, you could probably say the same about her opposition. Oh, what impact! Look at her go! using the knee. Not gonna lock it in here. She better do something fast. She's out. She escapes the hold. Just when it looked like her night was over, too. What a headbutt. Vicious. Tag team championship at stake. Which team wants it more? Great effort from both these teams, guys, but at this point, both sides look to be struggling here. Oh, and she drops hard. Things are looking pretty good for her now. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for, the win. 
She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Just dropped. Warm up the bus. This one is over. And here's the pin. Title on the line. Two. Boom. <laughs> she's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great right, win. Wear down your corner. Instinct. That's the only thing keeping these teams standing at this point. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. She dodges that one. Natalia says, not this time. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Natalia strikes with Natty by nature. Natalia's just seconds away. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Two. Three. What an incredible tag team contest. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. That's a woman on a mission. This was another great moment. She's taking care of business. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. Big win here in tag team action tonight. That's a big win any day of the week, on any show, in any arena, Michael. Well, that was indeed a great match. And I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is.